Hello, it's Steve here again from the Studio One Soapbox. In today's video, I want to talk about the great granddaddy of them all when it comes to parallel compression, and that is the New York City technique. Now, uh, parallel compression is very common in mixing these days. It adds dynamics, it adds more body to the song, it adds excitement. Um, it just is a great technique to implement a uh, it's very common on drums, as we all know. But with the New York City technique, there is a few extra steps that set it apart from the rest. And that's what I want to show you today. Now, I have this little song set up. And what I'm going to do is bypass the New York City technique for now. And then I'll bring it in and just let you hear the difference. So here we go. Bring it in. Let's take it out. Let's bring it back in. Okay, so I think you'll agree it adds lots of dynamics, lots of excitement and more body to the whole uh, overall sound of the track. So what sets New York City compression apart from just normal parallel compression where we would send our drums for instance to a bus or an effects channel uh, slap a compressor on there, slam the living daylights out of it and then blend it in with the original track. That's just parallel compression. New York City technique has a few extra steps. So first up, yes, I have our drums going to uh, this FX channel that I have it on. I've loaded on a SK Note, a C165 compressor. You can use any compressor whatsoever doesn't matter about that but the secret and the uh, the way to go with the compressor is make sure you're at least slamming by 10 dB or slightly more but about 10 dB seems to be the perfect sort of amount of compression uh, as you can see I have this thing all the way up to infinity just auto attack and release and uh, it's slamming let me just show you here As you can see, it's slamming about 10 dB at least. Then the next step using an EQ is at 100 cycles is boost by 3 dB, create a little shelf, then go to 10K, boost that by 3 dB, create a little shelf. And this way you accentuate the low end and the high end, which gives it a bit of extra pizzazz, a bit of extra fairy dust, whatever you want to call it. But it is um, completely different whenever you hear it going. Uh, what I'll do is I'll try and take the EQ in and out and see if you can notice the difference. Um, I'll just solo up our compression channel. Right, here we go. Let's take the EQ out to start with. And I'll raise it up so it can be heard. That's just the compressor. Now let's bring in the EQ. Hear the difference? Let's take it out. Bring it back in. Okay, so first up, compress as normal, but make sure you're compressing at least by 10 dB, slightly more, but around the 10 dB mark. Next up, 
add an EQ of whatever one you want, whatever you use, at 100 cycles, boosted by 3 dB in a shelf, at 10K, boost that by 3 dB in a little shelf, and the next step is to add your bass guitar. So I'm sending to the New York City, uh, which is this effects channel, and I'm blending in not only all my drums, but also my bass guitar. And that is the two parts mostly, the EQ and blending in a bit of your bass guitar, which sets this apart from the rest. So what I'll do is I'll play this and I'll take off the bass guitar sand and then I'll add that in. And what this New York City technique does, it builds up your low end, it tightens it all together and dynamically just gives a thickness to the overall sound of your tune. And you know, once you start using it, you'll never go back. So here we go. Let's play this again and I'll add in the bass. Let's add the bass sound. Hear that thick enough? Let's take that back. Sounds like the blend just as it does that. Let's add it back in. And if we solo our New York City present track. And we drop it back down to where it should be, about minus 12.3, because we don't want to just boost volume. Bring it back. So the idea is when you're blending in your compression track, just watch your levels because obviously there is going to be a slight volume increase that goes without saying, but we don't want to boost it too much. We're a game. We're just fooling our ears that we're making things better uh, when actually things are just getting louder. So if I solo the drums here, as you can see, just over minus three. And if I take the sand off the, the compression, there's maybe about one dB of difference. We're about minus three now. Put the compressor back in. So just watch your levels whenever you're blending it back in. Um, you don't want to be boosting too much. Just making sure you're staying around your zero dB when everything's playing. So just to finish off then, let's do a recap. So firstly, we send our drums and our bass guitar onto a bus or an effects channel. We add on our compressor as normal with parallel compression. And we're aiming for 10 dB or slightly more of compression. Next, we add an EQ on. We add 100 Hz, 3 dB. At 10K, 3 dB as well. Create two shelves, boosting the low and the high end. And thirdly, we add our bass and make sure we're blending a little bit of our bass into that exact same track. Uh, and that's it. That is the New York City technique. And I guarantee you, once you start using this and messing around with it, you'll never go back. It is the great granddaddy of all compression and uh, should be used very liberally, I would say. So thank you for tuning in today. I'll play this song out and I'll take the New York City compression in and out just so that you can compare a little more. Thanks for joining me today. Catch you in the next video. Uh, happy mixing and... Thank you. Let's bring it in. Let's take it out.
the stars in a way you let's bring it up 